Hey folks, welcome to another numeracy video. In this video, we're going to be looking at rounding numbers in context. Now, this particular types of questions, uh, they always do create controversy. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so let's have a look at question number one here. Question number one, what we've got is we've got a $150 bill and that is being separated by seven uh, friends. So we're going to go 150 and we're going to divide that by seven. Now, this particular calculator, remember that it actually gives you in fractions. So we're just going to click on shift equals, and that's going to be $21.43. Now, of course, you might be sitting there going, hang on, but that's not really equal to 150. And this is what we're talking about, rounding numbers in context. Because if our you know money goes 42 and 43, but if we actually say it's 21.42, we're going to have a problem. Because if I do 21.42 times 7, that only equals $149.94, so we're still missing six cents. So that's why in this case, we have to round it up to $21.43. And so let's look at the next question here. We've got $450.75 for the second question, and it's shared with two people. Sorry, I should have actually done that first part there, which is 150 divided by seven. And then in for the second question, I've got $450.75, and that's divided by two. So when I do this, 450.75 divided by 2, that's going to give me $225.37.5. So in this case, we need to round it up again. So we're going to say roughly each person needs to contribute uh, $225.38. All right, so let's look at the last three questions here. And again, I'm going to give you some, uh, give you folks some time to try these questions. Um, pause for a second and uh, try these questions out. Hopefully you've had a chance to try these questions out. All right, so let's have a look at question number three. We've got $320, sorry, $323, and it's been divided with eight people. So three, two, three, divided by eight. And let's see what that actually ends up with. 323 divided by 8, that's 40.375. Now, again, same problem with money. With money, we've got to keep in mind that we've got to go to two decimal places. So we're going to put this as 40.38. So $40.38. Looking at question number four. So question number four, we've got 3.2 million. And that's been divided with three people. So I'm just going to go 3.2 divided by 3. And here is where things get a little bit interesting. No, let's look at this one first, right? If I do 3.2 divided by 3, I am getting roughly 1.06667 million. Now, here's where things get a little bit tricky with um, working with millions, right? Because like, you'd, you'd have to consider those numbers. Let's just park this for a second, all right? Let's park this for a second and let's actually do 3.2 million as this an actual number is that 3.2 million yes it is now i'm going to divide that by three and as you can see each person should be paying one million sixty six thousand six hundred and sixty six dollars and sixty seven cents this is what each person needs to be paying now when you do 33.2 divided by three you're actually getting 1.06667 uh, million so you might just have to write this out. How many of us six is that? There was a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three. Now the problem is this is, uh, we've got to actually round it up um, accordingly, according to context. So in this case, I would probably say to you that it might be better to work in um, how we did it the second method. So that's actually not putting as 3.2 divided by three, but rather putting it as um, 3,200,000 divided by three. That would give you an answer that's actually a lot more accurate in context for this type of question. All right, so let's look at question five. Question five, we've got $2,000 and we're doing, uh, actually splitting it with 11 charities. So we're going to go 2,000 divided by 11. And because it's actually money, we only go up to two decimal places. So each charity will receive approximately $181 and 82 cents so folks that's just a, a quick little video on um, 
rounding numbers in context. Of course, all the examples that I've actually worked on today is on money. Uh, when you do things like kilometers, meters, and centimeters, they do change. Um, I might just need to actually make another video on this later on. Um, if someone just reminds me in the comments, I will actually put it up. But basically, we'll do more questions about rounding numbers in context with uh, different kind of uh, measurements and units. All right, folks, that is basically it for this video. As always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, and subscribe to keep up with the latest content. Now, there should be a couple of playlists popping up here and here. Great material for revision. And as always, thank you for watching.